Well, I wanted to go over a few of the different uh, archery turkey hunting methods or shooting methods, I should say, that are available uh, if you want to kill turkeys with your bow. Obviously, if you guys have watched any of my videos on the net before, you understand that I like to shoot them in the head. You know, I've only shot a couple of birds in the body, and as soon as I killed my first one in the head, I was, I was hooked on that because it's its own little adrenaline and its own, you know, getting them in tight and stuff. But uh, there's a couple different methods you can use shooting them in the head. Uh, Aerodynamics has the Diamond Edition guillotine. Not a bad broadhead whatsoever. Uh, Magnus, if you've watched my videos, you know that's what I run. They got the bullhead, and that's obviously I think that's a great broadhead for for doing headshots. Um, I just wanted to run through the specs of these broadheads a little bit and give you a little knowledge on on both ends. I'll start out with the Magnus. It's a three and three quarter inch cutting diameter. Three blade is what I use, but you can get the two and three quarter inch three blade as well. This uh, bigger one is 125 grains. The two and three quarter inch is 100 grains and uh, they come with replacement blades in the pack. So if you bend a blade you can undo the screw, through, throw a new blade on and you're good to go. Uh, Mike Som down there at Magnus also has one of what I think is truly the best replacement warranties on the market. He offers lifetime replacement guaranteed he used to have you send your broadheads in and uh, he'd mail you new ones, but now all you have to do is take a digital photo of it, email it to them, and they'll have new new heads in the mail. Any of the Magnus products, they'll, uh, any other heads, they'll have them in the mail right away to you and take care of you. Um, the Aerodynamics Diamond Edition, I kind of was turned off of <clears throat> Aerodynamics a couple years ago with their original model was... I don't know, not very appealing to me. I guess you had to use straws and stuff on it. And they actually did make a nice improvement um, with this new Diamond Edition. It seems like a great head. I'm, I haven't ever shot it yet. I'm going to be shooting it today here. But uh, the biggest difference is this comes with two heads in the pack. The bull heads come with three. The Aerodynamics retails for right around 43 bucks. I know you can get better deals if you know the right stores or whatever for anything. But uh, that's two bla two broadheads for 43 bucks. Bullheads, you get three of them for 39.99. I'm excited to shoot this this Diamond Edition guillotine. See how it is. You know that's uh, it's a three inch cutting diameter versus the three and three quarter. I like the bigger better cutting diameter myself. I'm going to be shooting some Vizicola, Vizi color targets today so we'll really be able to see the the true cutting diameter on them. It'll show up good after the shot. I'll be able to compare both heads. But I like that little bit bigger diameter myself. I mean, if they made one that was even bigger, I'd probably go with the biggest you could get. Just because I shoot turkeys real close. If you're wanting to take really, really long shots, you know, something like the smaller Magnus or this would be great but I like the big the big diameter I'm gonna gonna give these a try uh, give them a shot uh, sh shoot them both I haven't like I said I haven't shot the aerodynamics I've heard good things about them um, one other thing that I wanted to touch on with these is you only get two in a pack they say you can flip the blades around because both sides are sharp and that might work sometimes but I think a lot of times if you hit hard ground or a rock just like with the bullhead if you hit a rock behind that turkey or something hard it's gonna bend or snap the blade so if you bend or snap this blade turning it backwards isn't gonna do you no good you still have an untuned broadhead then and that's just the physics behind it people can't expect these big heads to hold up like a regular like a regular field or a broadhead just because look at the physics there's too much leverage there too big of a head they're gonna break so when they say you can flip these around, I'm a little skeptical. I want to shoot them a little and see how well they hold up. I'm going to get get some arrows here and uh, try a few shots quick with them. I'm going to give the Magnus Bullhead a shot first. I got it rigged up on the Victory V-Force arrow. This is a 7590 spine, four feathers. I've had great luck with this setup. I like to really get a lot of practice off the chair and out of the blind for that matter. 
One other thing is the bow sticks by Wannabe Outdoors, unbelievable product for blind hunting. Um, your bow, easy to reach, easy to get to, standing up, arrow knots. Nice thing is the legs unscrew, there's a male and a female thread, they screw together to form one solid rod and you pop them in your quiver like an arrow when you don't want them. So that's another great, great little tip, but let's give this bull head a shot and see how it, how it flies. Well, I already know it's gonna fly good because I've shot him enough, but I'm curious to see how it looks on those, on those targets there. As you can see, I, I centered him right where I was aiming. You can see the three cuts. One comes down clear to there. One goes up to the top of his head and one out there. That would have flipped his head right off. Uh, definitely a dead turkey. I'm gonna hang another target and give the, the guillotine a, a shot. Hit that one pretty good. Um, I guess I was aiming real close to there, but it looks like I would have got a decap on that one too. Now, one thing I do want to do is uh, shoot both heads into some rock out here on the driveway and just see how they hold up. Because I know the Magnus, if you shoot it into a rock, it's going to break a blade. That's why you get replacement blades, and that's why they have their warranty, you know. Um, I just want to see. I've, like I said, I haven't shot that diamond edition much, so I want to see how that holds up in some rock starting out with the uh, guillotine this thing might skip I might be chasing it through the weeds but we'll see here well exact same test with the bull hat off my knees from the same spot real unrealistic test but just to see what happens the diamond edition didn't make it and i don't think the bullhead will either you can't expect that when you're shooting in the rock i should have found somewhere a little softer to shoot but we'll see what happens here Like I said, that's kind of an unrealistic test. Um, Pier Rock at four yards. Doesn't work good with any broadhead, let alone a big turkey one. I found the one that I shot with the guillotine. That actually snapped the insert on this arrow and then snapped the, the shaft of the arrow itself. So that one's junk. The bullhead one, the bullhead snapped off, the ferrule snapped on the inside. All you gotta do is put a little toothpick in there, unscrew that, and you can put a new hat on. I guess at least it didn't break the arrow, but like I said, this was a very unrealistic test. I just wanted to trash a couple heads quick and see how they held up. I guess it wasn't a very great comparison because it was a little too aggressive, but oh well. I guess the point we got out of that was don't shoot into rocks with big turkey heads because none of them last, you know? Try. I'd do a few more tests, but I'm on a turkey hunting trip right now and I only brought a few arrows with me. So if I keep breaking arrows, I'm not going to have anything to hunt with for the next four days. I, when I go in the woods, I'm taking the Magnus Bullhead. Three of them for cheaper than two versus the guillotine, the replacement blades, and the outstanding lifetime warranty on them. Just unmatched. I, they really stand behind their word on that. Good luck hunting, guys. Thank <laughs> you.